role of the CAC is to protect kids, to provide justice, and also to provide healing and support for the kids and the families who've been sexually abused. Children are our most vulnerable citizens. And unfortunately, they become prey to people who have bad intentions and who do terrible things to them. This is the first touch point beyond law enforcement where these families are going to come in contact with the criminal justice system. And what this allows them to be able to do is come in in a safe place that's very child and family oriented, very neutral, and receive services and a qualified interview that can then go through the criminal justice process and allow the prosecutors to do a better job of prosecuting the offenders. These are people that have experienced uh, some very serious crimes that are, um, I, I would say, just below, you know, uh, you know, a, a homicide. Um, and so, uh, having a, a, a CAC is very important because we want to be able to get those people um, the help and the resources that they need to kind of uh, take back that um, power that you know a lot of these victims feel like was taken away from them based on uh, this crime. That's what the point is of this building: is to give the people in our community the opportunity to come here and try to make right what has happened to them. We only get one chance to do an investigation the right way. And for children who are in crisis, who have reported that something has happened to them, this is our opportunity as a community to provide the best services to them that we possibly can. When we open up investigations, um, part of that process is an interview with the child. The goal of the interview in a building like this is number one to put the child at ease. You add to it the color schemes and the pictures and, uh, and, and the other things that, are, that exist in those rooms and then you put this child in an environment that's closer to what they're used to. We have some state-of-the-art recording equipment that allows children to be interviewed in a room with just an investigator while the team is able to watch from an observation room. So having the technology, having the ability for um, people to come to this location, for the police to come to this location and be able to use everything here and best um, take care of our own people is what makes this center just wonderful. We're asking them to trust us. This environment helps us develop that trust with them. It gives them a safe space that's just for them in the interview room. Um, to talk to just one adult about something that really difficult that's happened to them. I think uh, having a neutral ground like uh, the CAC is a lot better because I can't tell you uh, there's been many times I've talked to parents and we're like hey could they come into the police station and we you know that way we can sit down and talk with them uh, and they're like uh, does it really have to be at a police station um, sometimes people aren't comfortable with that um, and so having a, a neutral place to go and be able to sit down and talk with the, the victims makes it uh, a, a heck of a lot easier on us as uh, police Anything that um, helps to reduce the trauma of what a child has already been through, I think it's really important. So having the Child Advocacy Center um, where children are not interviewed in a police department or um, a, a scary environment, um, I think can make all the difference. The Child Advocacy Center allows us to not only interview the children that are involved, but also gives us a meeting space to work with families and make sure that they have all the referrals that they need um, to remain stable while going through this process. What this gives families is the ability to, while their child is being interviewed, connect with another person, an advocate, a family advocate, who's knowledgeable about the resources in the community, both governmental resources as well as community-based resources, to start providing the wraparound services that their child and their family needs. The Child Advocacy Center makes sure that no child gets lost in the process. Um, they make sure that they receive the medical care, the mental health services, child protective services and law enforcement um, involvement as needed. 
Um, so they make sure that the whole process works and um, that everyone's taken care of, including the families. They provide a very, very crucial um, piece to uh, our investigations because there's a lot of things as police that we just don't have the ability or the power to do. And so when you have a CAC where um, you can take a victim and they can have the advocacy piece, they can get the counseling, they can get the medical services, whatever other resources that they need uh, to kind of help them get themselves together uh, and kind of you know, get their lives back together and be able to move on. Our involvement with the CAC is really geared towards um, our participation in the multidisciplinary team and that's where we have an opportunity to come to the table with our allied partners and do case review and talk about the cases that um, have come through the center. The people that are included on the multidisciplinary team would be law enfortement, child protective services, Chesterfield uh, Commonwealth Attorney's Office, forensic nurses victim advocates, mental health professionals. Is that a CPS issue? The MDT, or multidisciplinary team, is a, a group of all of the people that investigate, both do the investigation on the front end and the treatment people, such as the victim witness people and mental health. It gives us an opportunity in a safe, collaborative environment with our partners to be able to sit down kind of round table fashion and examine what we've done for the children that we serve. We can all make decisions quickly together and efficiently for the child in the family's best interest. I think we're a team, we're a good team and we're all working together and that's what's exciting for me. It's mostly about uh, having a, a center that uh, is there for our victims uh, to let them know that you know uh, if something happens or if there's, there is an incident where they are a victim of a sensitive crime that they have a place that they can go to and, and receive the help that they need. Anytime someone comes to this center and discloses something and any time that disclosure leads to a successful prosecution, that gives us, the Commonwealth Attorney's Office, the ability to be able to hopefully take somebody off the street that has committed a, a horrible crime. We want to help the child put their best foot forward and the Child Advocacy Center allows us to do that. The CAC allows us a much stronger opportunity with reducing the amount of trauma that the child and the family experiences going through the criminal justice process. I'm excited about the services that the kids are going to receive right here in the community. This type of abuse does not discriminate against anyone. It doesn't discriminate against gender, socioeconomic class, race. This happens everywhere. It happens to everyone. It can happen to anyone. It can be your child that's affected. There can be children all around you that you see on a regular basis that you have contact with and you have no idea that they have suffered this or been through it. And this is your chance to protect their privacy while also enabling them to have resources that will give them all the things that they need and will benefit our community by showing them the love and care that we would want to be shown ourselves.